Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. This video is all about simulation and in this hobby no matter you are a beginner or a developer who develops high-end robotic applications, you always need to bench test your code in the form of simulation and it is even more crucial when it comes to aerial robotics. In this video we are going to see DroneKit SITL that is software in the loop in details and set up SITL with different things. First is to set up SITL with MAV proxy and any ground control station and second is to set up SITL with Autopilot plugins and Gazebo and as we know Gazebo is ROS based 3D simulator where you can fuse sensor and do amazing things there and further I will simulate three different python scripts first is to uh, autonomously take off and land python script second to make your drone move in the given environment and third uh, to make your drone hover at a particular altitude and uh, it will hover there till it uh, detects a specific ORCO marker with a particular index ID and when it detects that it will run the land command to make it land and just for the demonstration purpose here I'll be accessing the webcam of my laptop uh, for detecting the ERCO marker and in the upcoming videos we can see how to access the camera module attached to the uh, uh, drone in the gazebo model that is the gazebo simulator and these simulations provide you a clear uh, idea on how to develop amazing drone applications and simulate them without destroying your actual drone so let's get started so starting here from uh, DroneKit, we know that DroneKit is developer's tool for drones and it provides extensive API support for drone application development and it also provides SDK and web API support so that you can develop web applications for your drones and add functionalities or features like intelligent path planning, autonomous flights or even you can get the live telemetry feeds from your drone to the ground control station. You can do onboard air computing this means that you can add a companion computer to the existing flight controller and in increase the computational power of your drone and the communication between the flight controller and the companion computer setups uh, using the Mavlink protocol and Mavlink protocol is a lightweight low latency communication link mainly developed for drones and increasing the computational power enables you to work on more powerful drone applications like you can work on computer vision techniques you can uh, detect track or recognize objects or even you can install robot operating system and connect ROS nodes with drone kit apis and develop uh, swarm algorithm applications or even more powerful uh, applications and if you want to know the workflow on how uh, writing the script and the deployment of the script on the actual vehicle takes place then you can check my previous video where we have tested the, tested the autonomous takeoff and uh, line uh, python script uh, where we have used drone kit apis and developed the script and deployed it on the actual vehicle so that you can uh, check my previous video and the most important thing here is DroneKit is free and open source which means that it has vibrant community support and you can check uh, uh, more uh, details about DroneKit and what are the APIs and how you can use them on the official documentation or you can even uh, check it here on the official website of DroneKit. So now let's move towards the uh, DroneKit SITL. Before testing your actual uh, python script or the application that you have developed on the actual vehicle, it's always recommended to bench test your code in form of simulation and DroneKit SITL is here with that. SITL is software in the loop which is a lightweight and portable simulator which allows you to create and test python uh, DroneKit applications without a real uh, requirement of the vehicle. You can run SITL on Linux, Mac and Windows operating systems and with Linux particularly you can run on this architecture which means that you won't be able to run SITL on Raspberry Pi because Raspberry Pi supports ARM architecture. So what you can do here is you can run SITL on your main computer here I have Ubuntu 18 and connect uh, my computer to the same uh, router or the same network where the raspberry pi is connected and i can run the python script on the raspberry pi and this connection will uh, set up over the particular or the default ip address and the port numbering we'll see uh, that uh, while executing uh, our first python script on the sitl and now we'll move towards installing drone kit sitl and all the required things like the map proxy map link and all the python dependencies and to get started with the first setup we need to install some python dependencies like python pip python dev 
and matplotlib opencv that are we are going to require in our projects so uh, i'm going here uh, with python 2 on my ubuntu machine i'll copy this uh, command here that is all the dependencies and i'll paste this in the terminal and i'll paste them here and i'll just enter the password and i have already installed all these uh, dependencies just for the demonstration purpose or how the process is for the installation i'm showing this thing here you might uh, need some extra time for this like the size of the dependencies is like about 48 mbs and now we'll install a drone kit for that sudo pip install drone kit the process is very straightforward and uh, all the conditions are satisfied here already so you can just uh, see here that i have uh, the condition for uh, pi mavlink uh, that is already satisfied and the version of uh, mavlink installed here is 2.4.8 and the latest version now the present version available is 2.4.14 and i will tell you the reason why i am having this uh, low version mavlink instead of the updated one Okay, so the next thing we'll install is drone kit. I'll just add SITL, drone kit SITL. The next thing uh, we need to install is a map proxy for that sudo pip install map proxy. So, this just steps are just for uh, demonstration purpose. You might uh, require some time for this. And here we are done with the uh, map proxy. Now we'll install Mavlink for that sudo pip install pi Mavlink equals equals to uh, 2.4.4.8 and the reason uh, behind installing the low version I'll tell you uh, ahead. So install this and if you are not uh, mentioning uh, this version then you will end up installing the latest version if you'll just uh, type sudo pip install map by mavlink then you will end up installing the latest version and once you are done with these installation steps the next thing is to start drone kit sitl in one terminal and map proxy in other terminal and the third terminal will be for uh, executing the python script that you have on your computer that's all about installation part for the first setup now we'll launch drone kit sitl for that i'll just launch the terminal first and we'll launch drone kit hyphen sitl uh, space copter so copter is the vehicle we are going to uh, deal with and if you want to uh, try another vehicle then you can uh, just get the list of all the vehicles by typing this command that is hyphen hyphen list and you'll get the list of uh, like a rover copter plane and solo i have just tried copter and plane you can try solo and rover and just you can let me know in the comments below and the next thing here is we'll just update this command and add here copter to run drone kit sitl copter and here you'll see that uh, SITL input waiting for connection on the TCP port uh, that is 5760 and it will be waiting for more ports like 5761, 57623 and so on on the TCP port and I'll just minimize this or just uh, lower the size and I'll launch one more uh, terminal here to set up a MAV proxy here and to set up map proxy we have the command here so this is the uh, default tcp uh, port uh, that will be forwarded to the udp and here i'm gonna need two udp ports that is 14550 and 14551 14550 is for uh, the python script that i'm going to execute and this 14551 is for setting a mission planner uh, with the sitl that is the connection port and you can add uh, the UDP ports like 1455234 so on according to, to your requirement and I'll also execute this uh, command here so now you can see that the connection uh, between both these terminals that is SITL and MyProxy will uh, start to set up and you can see all the calibrating parameters and initializing APM all the parameters over here 
and if you are uh, done with this thing the next thing or the next two things uh, that are remaining like you need to connect mission planner and then execute your python script so now we'll uh, go with the mission planner we'll connect uh, mission planner now for that i will open this and i'll hit connect here and you'll see uh, the pop-up here so uh, the pop-up is uh, for listeners port and as i have uh, told you that we had set up two different uh, udp ports that is 14550 and 14551 and they were for one for the python script and other for uh, mission planner respectively so i'll just hit enter here and this script will start connecting and will it will load all the parameters here so you can uh, see that and once uh, this thing completes we'll uh, start with uh, execution of the python script and we'll observe the simulation so it's connected here i'll just minimize this uh, screen and i'll launch one more uh, terminal here so that we can execute the python scripts but before that i would like to show you some uh, uh, difference that uh, in this uh, script you can see that i have not mentioned any connection string over here so that if i'm not if i'm not mentioning any connection string within the code then i can mention that connection string in the terminal where i'll be executing the code and and in this code you can see that i have mentioned the connection string here that is a uh, 14550 and i'm connecting uh, this over udp and i don't need to mention the connection string uh, at the time of execution in the terminal so uh, we'll see more Uh, in details about uh, writing the python uh, scripts using the drone kit api in the upcoming videos just for the informative purpose uh, you can just uh, keep this uh, in your focus so now we'll execute the python script here for so the first script that was 1.py and i'll hit enter and then you can just see that the copter will uh, arm then take off and then wait for some time and then land so this was the script that i have already uh, tested in the previous video and you have seen the uh, live demonstration now here the motors have uh, started you can uh, see the altitude is rising you won't be able to get uh, the best uh, visualizations here on the map but uh, at least uh, you can know that uh, how your code is behaving and here we can see that the altitude is uh, decreasing gradually and it's descending to land and once it uh, lands it 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 will start disarming the motors and here the execution has stopped and you can see that it has uh, disarmed the motors so this was the execution of the uh, first python script and now we'll execute a second and for that i'll just uh, close the uh, mission planner I would like to uh, show you one uh, more thing in uh, this drone kit SITL and I'll just minimize this window. Now instead of using a uh, mission planner and the map and all the things, we'll use one inbuilt function or the inbuilt map uh, from the map proxy or you can say SITL and for that I'll just add this line that is hyphen hyphen map or even you can uh, uh, add one more thing that is hyphen hyphen console but i don't want the console to be here i'll just go with the map and i'll hit enter and you'll uh, see a map here and with the copter there and i'll run the python script here uh, so uh in the last example we have not mentioned any connection string here and this time we are going to run the uh, other python script and we'll mention the connect connection string here for that python demo 
टू डॉट पाई स्पेस आईफन आईफन कनेक्ट स्पेस वन पॉइंट सेवन डॉट जीरो डॉट और जीरो डॉट वन कोलन वन फोर फाइव फाइव जीरो सो दैट्स द यू डी पी पोर्ट एन आल हिट एंटर एंड यू कैन सी दैट इट हैज स्टार्टेड सो यू कैन सी दैट द व्हीकल इज हेयर एंड इट विल स्टार्ट नेविगेटिंग एंड दिस पाइथन स्क्रिप्ट इज लाइक इट विल टेक ऑफ टू द अल्टीट्यूड ऑफ लाइक टेन मीटर्स दैन इट विल गो इन दिस डायरेक्शन फॉर लाइक थर्टी सेकेंड्स एंड देन इट विल चेंज इट्स चेंज इट्स डायरेक्शन एंड देन रिटर्न होम एंड यू कैन सी दैट इट इज नेविगेटिंग टू दैट पॉइंट and you can see all these things here now it has uh, changed its direction and it is going towards the second point so in this way you can demonstrate all your python scripts and observe the behavior uh, so uh, this sitl is the simplest way uh, to set up and get started and the second uh, setup that we are going to do that is with the gazebo and the autopilot plugins that would be or that will be more realistic setup and i would like to recommend you to go with that setup and moving towards the copter now it has started uh, to return to launch and you can see that it is uh, moving back so it has created a triangular formation here and the altitude is uh, 10 meters and uh the speed is 3 meter per second and you can even change that speed uh to max like 10 meter per second and in this way you can uh, do all the setup so now we'll uh, move towards the uh, second setup that is autopilot plugins and gazebo